Hey everybody, it's your girl Bali, and it is that time of year again where everybody's happy except for the students. Back to school time. But to make it a little bit better, me and a group of awesome YouTubers decided to come together and do a collab. In this collab, you're gonna see um, a few familiar faces like Miss Area Mama TV. I did the smoky eye tutorial with her. And also uh, Mr. Erin Sterling, and I did five reasons why women shy away from relationships with him over on his channel. Also a part of this collab is Miss Shay What's Real. She's a lifestyle blogger and also a YouTube vlogger. And last but definitely not least, we have Miss Living Life as Issa. She is a hairstyle vlogger and she shows you how to slay the real hair and also the wigs when you guys are done checking out this diy school supplies head over to their channels all of their information is going to be in the cards and also in the description box to start off with this custom diy notebook we're gonna have to find images i found my images by going to dollar tree and using the calendar but you guys can find your images elsewhere Okay, thank you, Exacto Knife, because it made it a lot easier. So what I'm going to do next is fit the image onto the notebook so that I can see where I want to place the image. I really enjoy sunsets, so I was trying to get as much of the sunset as I can and the landscape. So next, I just poured some glue and I painted it on, trying to get it as smooth as possible and as even as possible and then I smoothed it down with something flat I mean I only had a comb and I needed to go fast next I just fixed the corners and then I folded the paper so that there was no glue that I had to worry about spilling over I must warn you guys to be very careful because the glue will run over and it will stick your papers together Using a notebook that I had already created maybe a year ago when I first had the idea to create this back to school DIY, um, I'm going to use an X-Acto knife to peel off all of the edges. Make sure you do this when it's dry because if you don't, you'll just mess up the edges and they'll look raggedy. All you're going to need for this DIY dry erase board is a picture frame from Dollar Tree and some construction paper or any colored paper that you have. All you have to do is remove the back of the frame. So if you want it simple, you can just use a white sheet of paper and you'll have your own custom frame whiteboard. So now just write anything you want in it and hang it. The good thing about this whiteboard is that you can switch it up any way that you like it. Now, if you are an organizing nerd like me, then you can make small compartments which I love it because I use my favorite colors now my second favorite way of using the whiteboard is to use it to study because you can write exactly what you want you can hang it up you can see it every day for the second DIY notebook in this tutorial I was fishing through the dollar store to find some odd materials and I stumbled upon these wall decals it says, be the change you want to see in the world. And of course, on this positive movement, I am trying to keep as much positivity around me as possible. To place the wall decals, I'm using a card just so I can keep out all of the air pockets. This little thing, once again, found at a dollar store. It's a adhesive fur, I guess. And it's very, very sticky. I must warn you when getting these that there is a little shedding. But if you put a little glue on the end of it, then it'll stop the shedding. These stickers I did not get from the Dollar Tree, but they were a dollar at Michael's. And I wanted to personalize this. And what better way than using the lips because that's my international sign. Now, this is the most simple out of all the DIYs. I just took some thank you cards and I just cut them up and using whatever parts I thought were pretty. Now, you can just cut them and use them like that, but I wanted to show you guys an option that, you know, if you wanted to protect the ends of the bookmark, you can tape them. And it's kind of like laminating, but for a dollar. 
after you tape all the way through, you can just pick it up and fold the edges back or however you like it. Okay, so I wanted to do something with the words on the inside of the card, so I decided to use my favorite shape. I just folded it in half and then obviously just went around it. And then when you open it up, it's a heart. And I'm gonna do the same exact thing with the lamination for a dollar and then fold everything over. You're gonna have to cut it down the middle just because it's not gonna fold properly. I hope you guys enjoyed the DIY school supplies. If you did, go ahead and give this a thumbs up so I can know what type of videos you like to see. Also, if you are new and you enjoy what you've seen, become a son of Bali by hitting the subscribe button. It's totally free. And also, remember that this is a collab with some awesome, awesome YouTubers. Miss Area Mama TV, Mr. Aaron Sterling, Miss Shea What's Real and Miss Living Life as Issa. All of their information is going to be in the cards right above my head and in the description below. Love you guys. It's probably.